Hi, my name is Kay Hallowell Sutton and I'm one of the co-founders of Indigo Blue along with my husband Alfie and I'm just going to show you really quickly how to use our flitter glue and gilding flake. So people normally buy it in a kit so it's everything in, in here that you need and it comes in one of these tough boxes which we're going to use. So inside we've got some fat foam, this is what we're going to actually make our flitter glue uh, pad with and then you've also got a pot of the flitter glue We've got a really nice big pot of Winter Dawn Mega Flake, so these are really nice big leaves. Uh, we've got some Easy Beauty Stamp Cleaner, um, a Scoochy Sponge, one of these, a spatula, and most important, we've got all the hints and tips as well. So this is going to show you, um, step by step, with colour photos, exactly what to do. And at the bottom here, we've also got some lovely Indigo Blue card as well, so you've got quite a few sheets of the lovely coal black, you get four sheets of those and we've also got six sheets of the 350 gram super smooth really lovely stamping card here as well. So there's all of that in the kit and you can actually get all of this from our website at indigoblue.com and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to really quickly show you how easy it is to use the glitter glue. So if you come in close I'll show you how that's done. Um, in the kit you actually get um, a small pot of flitter glue. This is 60ml so there's loads in here. But I'm just going to use our new um, flitter glue jumbo. And we've actually put this in an easy clean bottle. So you can see that there's a screw top here. It just opens up. And you just put about a teaspoon onto the fat foam. And you can see that it just pushes out, the nipple pushes out and actually cleans the nozzle for you so it's nice and easy to clean and uh, it doesn't get all gunked up so that's really good. So I've got my fat foam about two inches by an inch and a half and I've put a teaspoon of flitter glue on and using the spatula that comes in your kit you want to just push that into the foam completely until it all disappears. You don't want any bits of glue on the surface at all. Okay, so it's basically completely disappeared so it looks like an ink pad okay and then what I do is I actually keep that on um, an old tile or an old plate or a cat food dish anything like that and that's just going to keep the air off the glue and so whilst you're using it it, it remains nice and fresh so um, this is going to last you about two to four hours of stamping depending on how much stamping you're doing and then after that all you need to do is just wash it out with loads and loads of water and uh, you can leave it to dry and you can use it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use this nice little stamp called Lollipop Tree. It comes on, uh, on a laminate and so all I've done is I've just trimmed it out here and I'm just going to put it on one of my big Slim Jims. This is the biggest in the pack, this is 7 inches by 5. And then I'm just going to take my flitter glue which is already on my fat foam and I'm just going to stomp it onto the stamp here. So you only need a tiny little bit of glue and then the difference here is we're just going to do a quick kiss stamp. So it's place, press and peel off and you can see how quick that was. And the difference between um, this and ink is that it is going to just grab hold of that card without actually um, putting too much pressure on. Now what I've done is I immediately take my stamp and I dunk it in a bowl of clean water. It doesn't have to have anything in the water at all, it doesn't need any soap or anything like that, just plain water because we've actually formulated the flitter glue so that it, it's water soluble when it's wet. Now the reason why I teach for you to dunk it in a bowl of water is so that you clean your fingers and you don't get up all gunky and, and end up covered in flake later on. So just dry my hands off. Now, the important thing to remember is, yes, we would love you to use our Indigo Blue stamps with this, but we formulated it specially so that it will work with all the stamps you've already got at home. So, um, polymer stamps, clear stamps, all those free stamps that you get off the front of magazines, all of those are going to be great to use with this. It is actually non-toxic and it's also um, pH neutral, so you can use it for scrapbooking. So um, it's great to use on lots of different projects. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get my Mega Flake now. Now, 
this image that I've already stamped, you don't have to worry about getting this uh, the flake on here too quickly because it remains tacky. So you don't have to panic, you know, you can go off and have a cup of tea and come back and it's still going to be nice and tacky for you, even, you know, a day later. So what I've done is, you know the tough box that the kit comes in? Well, I've actually used this to put the flake in so it behaves itself a little bit better. Now this colour here is actually Yorkshire Dale. As you can see, it's all the lovely greens and golds and coppers. It's absolutely beautiful. And you can see with our flake, we use ultra big size of Mega Flake here. And the quality of it is absolutely superb. So you're gonna get the very, very best. Now the reason why we actually use really, really big flakes is because it actually takes a lot longer for it to actually break down and you get a lot better value for money. So you just take a tiny little bit of flake and holding your card over the top of your box, you just put a little bit of flake on and just allow that flake just to grab hold of the flitter glue. And then you just take off all of the excess and I'm doing this over the box so that it doesn't go flying everywhere. Okay. And I'm just making sure, there's a little tacky bit there, just making sure it's all nicely covered. There we go. Just get rid of those little stray flakes, no sneezing over that. Put the lid back on. And then this is important, because you've actually got um, flake on top of the flitter glue, you need to make sure that it is actually in contact. So you just give it a rub with your hand so it's nicely in contact. And then you take your Scoochie polishing sponge, and this is a special sponge that's, it looks rough, but it's really quite smooth. And this is gonna actually polish up your flake and take off the excess. So you just give that a little bit of a polish, and you can see that all the detail of your stamp comes up. And just take off all that excess there, and that can go back in your box. And the wonderful thing about the flitter glue is because, um, we spent 10 months developing it. We've made sure that you actually get all the delicate detail of your stamps coming through. It's, it's non-toxic, as I said. You get really nice detail. It remains tacky and it's so easy to use. And that's it. You don't have to heat it or anything like that. Isn't that lovely? That's gorgeous. And that's Yorkshire Dales that I've used on there. Now, what you might want to do is just take your fat foam again, and again, you don't need any more glue on this, and just run it along the edge of your card. And I'm just putting just a little bit of the, the flitter glue onto the edge of the card there, and then I'm gonna bring back my flake. And again, I'm using the same one, Yorkshire Dales. And I'm just going to dip my edge of my project into the flake and then just gently take off all the excess because I'm trying not to break up the flake and that way it lasts a lot longer. All the way around and the great thing about the flister glue is that it's actually um, a really good polymer that's put in it so it's a lovely quality, but it also means that you can stamp onto lots of different surfaces. So you can actually stamp onto card, uh, canvas, fabric, although you can't wash the fabric because um, it will actually take it off. And you can use it on MDF and wood, all kinds of different surfaces. So what I've done is I've just polished up those edges there. And let's just get rid of all of that excess. Okay, so that can go back in my pot. And there you have a really nice, delicate, thin edge to your flitter glue and gilding flake. So it's really, really easy. Now, now if you're anything like me and you over stamp a little bit or you, you you actually get glue in a place that you don't want it, you can actually use one of our Wizzy Wizzy rubbers. Now this is fantastic because it, it actually is the only thing I've found that will actually take off the gilding flake without damaging the card. Because it's just an eraser, but because it's electronic and it whizzes round like that, it actually does it so fast that it takes off the gilding flake. So if you just actually see this little leaf here, so say I, I wanted to take that off. 
it just takes that off without damaging the card. Just give that a get rid of all the little bits of there we are. So you can see. So any little mistakes that you might make, not a problem because you can use your Wizzy eraser. Thanks for watching.